Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Hump Day Inspiration. Yeah, I'm wearing my Miami gear. It plays a significant role in my message this morning. Have you ever had a situation where you just gave up, lost faith, walked out, and didn't realize you missed something? Well, that happened to me on Sunday. My beloved Dolphins were playing the dreaded New England Patriots. Coach made a couple calls that I didn't agree with. Come down to the last minute, they kicked the field goal to go up by five points. I told Dana, my wife, I said, if they, they score, we're leaving. And we did. Then on the escalator on the way down, the whole stadium erupts. Lo and behold, the Dolphins came back and performed what they're calling the Miami Miracle. And I missed it. And I think if we give up on the Lord answering our prayers, we could also miss the miracle that he has in store for us. We can't ever give up. There's a couple of passages I want to read to you that kind of go toward that end. It's Jeremiah 29, 10, 11, and 12. And it says this. This is what the Lord says. When 70 years are complete for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. We tend to give up on stuff too easily. It could be a problem at work. It could be a simple problem on homework. Or it could be relationships or trying to find that right person. When the whole time that miracle is getting ready to happen and we just don't know it. So we got to keep going, keep our focus on God. And one of the things here is Galatians. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest and we do not give up. That's Galatians 6, 9. So as we enter this holiday season and we'll get ready to celebrate the birth of Christ, which was the miracle of all miracles, I just ask you never to give up, keep having that faith, and don't get caught on the escalator because the miracle is about to happen. God bless.